Racing Vlogs. How are we doing everybody? My name is Tom and welcome to Championship Night at Orange County Fair Speedway. Finally, after a season of DNFs, did not starts, a blown engine, and somehow a win, our story for the season finally comes to an end tonight. Uh, welcome to the other half of the channel, guys. Uh, whenever I'm not sitting in the stands at a, at a track, I'm uh, with part of a street stock team that runs Orange County Fair Speedway on a on a weekly basis so I'll get, I'll get into the uh championship situation uh when we get to the track uh both with street stocks where we sit who's leading and uh a little bit of big block too so uh i really don't have else much right now while i'm sitting waiting for the team so uh when we cross henry and get over there i'll uh I'll explain all that to you guys thanks for keeping me working mike Right then, so we just had a quick pop-up shower come through for about half hour. Um, so what they're doing now is they're doing some track pack with the sportsmen. Uh, I think their plan is to get all the divisions on there and run five or so laps uh, under this speed just to pack the track with the moisture in. Uh, Jimmy is banking that another cell of rain is going to come through, so he's holding off as long as he can to uh, get the car out and ready. Um, it really is just a hurry up and wait situation right now. But considering the year we've had with four race cancellations due to weather, now five affected, uh, this is just the most fitting way to end the season I think we can think of.
Alright, so we are fourth fastest in our hot lap session. Uh, really hard to tell where the car is sitting at because of how slick the rain made the track. So we're going to go out with the same setup. The other thing we did is just put more fuel in it for the heat races. Uh, we tighten up the exhaust pipe to get it to stop rattling a little bit. But everything else is the same, so we'll see what we can do here. Uh, we're going to start sixth in heat one. Uh, plan is to go forward very quickly. Actually, before we go on to the uh, heat race footage, I just realized I never explained the point situation for us. So because we have uh, two DNFs and a DNS, because one was a double, um, we are sitting 10th in points. Thankfully, we have that one win to fall back on. We are one point above the 11. We are two points above the 4C car. So those are the two guys we're really racing for uh, point standings. Um, one position on track is worth two points. We're really going to... None of it matters, but if we're running side by side with one of them, it's going to be all elbows up.
that's wrong. So we finished third in the heat race. Uh, it's because one of the cars in front of us didn't have his transponder on. So uh, he doesn't officially score, so we beat him. Uh, we redrew six out of 22 cars. Uh, one of the guys we're starting, or we're racing for with points is starting seventh. That's the 4C car, don't forget. So uh, we got to beat him more than anything. But the car was just really bad handling down low, so gonna put more gas in it, make it a little bit heavier on the rear. He's gonna try to run some higher lines is what he said. At this point we just got what we got. Slick track he's never been good at. Two times, Two times slower. Uh, he ran the same time, slower. I don't know how everybody did it too, but uh, it's too hard. Yeah. Currently in a, a delay for lightning in the area. I mean, tonight is just the perfect summary of just the entire season with the weather and waiting. And hey, mini flagger, let's go. But man, it's just this year. This year has been bad, man. Oh, they just called modifieds back up. But, um, this year has just been ridiculous with the rain, and it's not even just Orange County. Uh, I've been to Accord on this channel. They've gotten slammed. I know, uh, Utica Rome also just had, like, a whole month off because of the weather. Just all over New York this year, man. I just, I've never seen anything like it.
guys. It's the uh, next day. I'm out running some errands. Figured let me just knock out the outro now. What a frustrating night last night was, man. I mean, waiting around an extra hour and a half or whatever it was. I didn't really film any of that because I knew that wouldn't be worth putting in a video but there was just a lot of downtime waiting for rain to pass waiting for the track to come in and then it's just according to jimmy at least we just kept getting the short end of the stick with cars in front of us so i haven't reviewed any of the footage yet so you guys know at this point if it's true or not or if he's just you know so we didn't beat any of the guys we needed to as far as i know we finished 12th in the standings which is our worst season position since we started up the team in 20 15 or 16 it's just a tough tough pill to swallow after all of that really the only bright side of the season was the one win we had we we're supporting the empire super sprints so at least we were televised for that one but god what what a tough season what a tough night when jimmy came in you know we weren't sure if we had any flat tires or anything so we were running around the car looking at it uh, the only thing I could think of is maybe the fender was rubbing on something, so I ran into the trailer to try to find a hammer or a bat or something to straighten that out. But uh, by the time I found anything, we were just, all right, just go back out on the tracks and uh, salvage what we can. So that's it with uh, Street Stocks for the year, minus uh, Eastern States. We don't know what day we're racing on. We've heard rumblings. We're going to race on the Sunday again like we used to, or we might just go or stay with the Friday show. Uh, I hope it's Sunday. It just feels so much more special to be in the pits during that race. Although being up in a uh, turn one stands for that's very cool too. So either way, I'll be there. Next week for me, this week for you guys, if you're watching this right when it came out, it's the Fonda 200. I'll be there both Friday and Saturday. If you see me, come say hi, shake my hand, tell me how much these videos suck. I'm not going to be camping there though, but I will be there both nights. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video and this far in the season supporting us um it's just one one of those seasons man i mean last year we never had a single rain out and this year we had five races impacted by weather out of our 10 race schedule it's just a very frustrating season but nothing we can do we'll come back uh eastern states and uh swing hard swing heavy we looked at the lap times and we were only two tenths behind everyone so if we were stuck behind slower cars and only being two tenths back you know we can hold our head high at least. Subscribe for more. I'm on Twitter. Follow me at Bear Racing Vlogs. I'm gonna, I'm thinking of starting up a uh, a Facebook page just because it seems like a lot of racing fans are on there more than Twitter. Make sure you guys uh like the video, subscribe for more, and uh, as always, support your local short track. And uh, I'll see you guys there. All right.